Hi there. I'm Gil Ash of OSP Shooting School. We're going to converse just a little bit about analyzing targets. You know, in sporting clays, that's probably the ultimate game within the game, is being able to analyze targets. Well, when you walk up to a stand, first thing you want to do is look at the targets and determine one of two things. Are they crossing or quartering? Because in our method, there's two moves. You've got a crossing move and a quartering move. In the quartering move, you push the gun. In the crossing move, you swing the gun. Both times, the gun inserts in front of the bird. So once you determine whether they're crossing or quartering, if it's, if it's quartering, no lead, shoot right at the front edge of the bird. Quartering targets don't take much lead. If it's crossing, you're going to have to come up in front of the bird. Don't be afraid of it. Don't try to measure how far in front. Just let the gun mount in front. So now you've determined, okay, is it crossing or quartering? If it's a single, where's the sweet spot? The sweet spot in a target is typically just past the midpoint. If we divided it into a 100-yard dash, the launching point being zero and where it hit the ground being uh, 100-yard lines, 100-yard line, the, then the, the point where it's going to be going the slowest but have the straightest line will be right around the 60-yard line, just past the midpoint. Why? It's lost two-thirds of its speed but it's got enough speed to have a straight line. So if it's a single target, take it there. But what happens if it's one target that's delivered in a pair? Because most sporting clays targets are shot as pairs. Now we've got to figure out where to break the first target to make the second target easy. We want to minimize the movement of the eyes to the second target. We want to minimize the movement of the gun to the second target. We want to make it as efficient as possible. So now we've got to look at both targets at the same time. How do you do that? Look between them. That's right. I said look between them. Don't look at either one. You want to know which one's high, which one's low, which one's fast, which one's slow, which one hits the ground first or leaves the shooting scene first, because typically the one that hits the ground first is the one you're going to want to shoot first. But you want to know their spatial relationships, where they cross, because you've got to determine where to take the first bird to set you up to take the second bird with a minimum amount of eye movement and gun movement. It's like playing eight ball. Okay, you can watch somebody that's played a lot of pool and they'll run the table and they'll make pool look really easy. But that's because they're always leaving the cue ball for the next shot. And then when you try, it doesn't seem to be quite as easy, does it? <laughs> so we're playing shape. So what we've got to do is determine where to break the first bird to make oh. the second bird easy. Now, once we have the break point, we've got to honor the break point. Let's say that the stand has five pairs. If you break the first bird in the same place every single time, then the second bird's going to be the same, isn't it? But if you break the first bird in a different place each time, then the second bird's going to be different every time, won't it? So your choice is shoot five pair at a station, all of them different because your break point moves on the first one, or shoot the same pair five times because you broke the first bird in the same spot every time. I don't know about you, but I'm honoring the break point because I want to make it as simple and easy as I can. So you need to go out to your range and start reading some targets by looking between them. See what they're doing. See where the best place to take the first bird is and then commit to the break point. Don't know where to go? Where to shoot.org. Thousands of listings. I'll bet you that there's a place that's within an hour of where you live, and you don't even know it's there. Check it out, where to shoot.org. But when you get there, remember, firearm safety begins with you.